hello and welcome back to moon ring i'm making kind of like slow and steady progress learning things um learning lots of things we're going to try using roche's bell which we got in the last episode to um talk to our father bell vibrates mr K mr kibbles grand hawkthorn to my beloved beloved Karim. So what happens if I use it here? Bell vibrates. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information. You sense a presence nearby. Um, wondering if I have to go like underground and use it. I don't, I don't suspect I do. The bell is silent. Okay. So that, that is for sure not the answer. Um, there's fire around? You adjust your pack on your shoulders. You are no longer on fire. <laughs> not sure what I'm trying to accomplish right now, but I'm on fire. Uh, I'm sending my entire forest on fire. My goodness. Okay, well, that certainly wasn't it. Also, there's some books here that I've never read. Ancient Cyprian 6. One word catches your eye. Era, which means fortress. Didn't think that we were going to be seeing uh, Sibirun words here at the very beginning. Um, era Fortress. What does this say? Shelf contains books on mushrooms, mushroom farming and animal husbandry, as well as a log of the fa farm's finances. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to, what I'm doing wrong here. It would make sense that I have to use the bell here to talk to my dad since he is one of the serpents. But I don't know why it's not working. Maybe you have to, maybe, maybe I use it here. I don't know. Oh. Um, okay, well, this is a ghost and they're fighting me and they're doing a lot of damage. They're, they're going to kill me. Um, bloodstone. Healing. They do, like, all of my health. This is getting a little bit exhausting where, like, everything does my entire health bar and damage. Um, just about out of healing potions. Shoot them. Wow. Instantly dead, huh? Killed by forlorn spirit. Well, I mean, I'll try again. <sighs> Gotta, I don't know. I, I feel like I should, maybe I should be wearing armor that's uh, good against certain kind of damage, but I don't know what kind of damage I should be protecting against. Um, magical, maybe? I don't have anything that protects... Okay, the crown's pendant. That protects against magic damage. Let's try that. No, I didn't mean to leave. 
I didn't I didn't mean to leave. Oh god. I keep pressing the wrong button when I uh It's fine. Okay. Tools. Roche's bell. Okay, this is definitely what I'm supposed to do. That still did like that went right through my poise. But now they're not doing like all of my health and damage. Still. Um Let's convert. No, that's not going to work. I'm still going to have to use like all of my healing potions. No, never mind. He, he's just like going through my armor completely. Ugh. This is frustrating. I'm frustrated right now. <laughs> I know this isn't going to be easy, but at the same time, I like I don't I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing. Um, obviously magic defense is not doing it. Maybe torpor defense. But like, I don't know how to, you know, how that's going to help. Oh, I see that was madness defense. I didn't have magical defense. I don't think I have anything that protects against mad, uh, magical. Um, I mean, I can keep trying. I could keep like beating my head against this brick wall for the moment but it's it's a little bit pointless I should probably like throw a potion at it again pressing the wrong button what is it with me like pre like I, I get into a weird trend where I start pressing exactly the same incorrect button often like very often um why don't we throw down some uh constructs a good time for some constructs i think minor construct yeah use that and then we're gonna shoot the, them do a bit of uh do a bit of damage while they're fighting the construct ouch they're fighting the construct we're doing some damage yeah construct was it you defeated Forlorn Spirit. As it vanishes, the spirit whispers a word. Karyon. So we have Thartus. And uh, Karyon. Okay. So we have two of our uh, five god names. Now I just have to find out the resting place of like all of the other serpents. Um, we can ask people about that, I suppose. I think I recall something about the serpent's eye. Serpent's eye. Perhaps the priests of Moon upon Thoth know what it means. They are wiser than I. God? Which of the five will it be? I wonder. You know them. Our Lady of the Sanguine Moon, Death's Harlequin, the Lords of Dust, the Great Forest Wolf, the Blind Angels. The five, although of course we only follow one. Follow one? The angels, of course. They are just, a, just and wise beyond all other gods. Uh, petition? You are dreamless after all. You never know. You could be the new Archon. Keeper of balance. Moon upon Thos. The capital is our best cu uh, customer. I'm grateful they are so close. Certainly it cuts down on trader fees. You can practically see its lights over there, glimmering to the southwest. See? Um, work? Without us, people would starve. And Moon Upon Thos is a hungry city. Gods? 
five are wise, though I do not think that can be said of the Archon. Not anymore. Trader fees? Don't misunderstand. I'm grateful they lug our product to town. I just wish they were less expensive. Uh, neutrality? I believe the angels are always right, but I know there no others feel different. It would be chaos without an arbitrator. I suppose that is why the Archon is so important. El Elwid has not spoken in public for weeks. That is unusual. I wonder what it means. Neutrality? It is important for an Ar uh, Archon to be neutral, but in truth I'd prefer they favored angels. At least a little. The blind angels offer so much wisdom. I wish you could see the world as I do, child. Life is so vibrant. I can see it flickering in every living thing. It is so beautiful. Speaking of which, we really do have to fight some things as blind in, uh, while we're blind. I would rather not speak of them further. It is unseemly. Let others follow who they must. Okay, I mean, you, you very much bought you know, part and parcel the, uh, the blind angels and their propaganda. <laughs> their dogma. Um, let's go fight some things while we're blind, speaking of. Uh, this should be easy enough, I suppose. Ungent of blindness. We're gonna die. I hate this. I, I can't believe this late in the game I'm still dying to bats. Like, that's never gonna feel good to me. It's always gonna feel cheesy. I just need to find like five. Oh, I already killed one. I need to find a, a group of like five pe creatures and then blind myself. Maybe bats was the wrong choice, but like, if not bats, then what? You know, I guess bugs. If I could, if I could kill some bugs, that'd be good. Something is here. Oh, you know what? Let's go with a, an old standby. Wait a minute. What is this? One must fall. Okay, so I got a freebie devotional tier. I guess I didn't complete that one before. Um, I should go check out a ruin and uh, fight some constructs. They're always like some of the easiest stuff to beat. I mean, I could still die, of course, but... Okay, so... Uh, Ungent of Blindness. Ungent? I don't know. Okay, two. Three. Four. One more. Five. Be ten enemies while blind. Now we just have to, um... Kill some undead. We'll probably do that when we visit the necropolis, which we're gonna have to do at some point. Oh, oh god. Kind of done with bats right now. Bandits are fine. At least we get some arrows from, from bandits. Um, where's our ship? All right, let's... What are we doing? What are we doing? There's a... I mean, I, I still have some coastline over here to check out. I pretty much covered the... The road up here. We finally, like, went through this area. Except I still haven't seen it all. There's still a bit left over that I haven't seen. Um, 
Okay, have I been to Albin's Bane? Probably I have, but good to check out all of these things. So we could just like head north. There's some more I haven't seen to our west. It's amazing how I keep going to these places and not seeing everything. Like there's always something. Like I've just noticed here, uh, how is it that I missed this? I was like checking out this whole forest and yet there's a very obvious like thing here that I probably could have looked at and I didn't look at. So why don't we go north, check out this area and then we'll swing around and over here and then go over here. All right, that's the plan. We are making pretty major progress. I, you know, I have some God's names. I'm sure that I'm going to need those to, you know, get the ultimate victory. Just wondering, I guess I haven't... Hold on, I, I know I'm getting distracted and this is why I keep missing stuff. But I just noticed there's something over here I haven't checked out. Um, I guess that's nothing. Yeah, that is like very nothing. There's a little tiny bit over here because I still haven't been able to get inside this big old forest. You know, there's a lot of forest here that I haven't been able to, to get to, to look at. Um, I was just wondering if we need some venison. We do, but I'll, uh, I'll get it from something somewhere else. Why are those bandits fighting each other? Oh, I think they're, uh, one of them's maddened. Okay. Um, alright, so where are we? We're going north. We're just following the, the road north. That's it. Um, double check in here. So, do we want to cross that? Oh, there's a cross there. There's a, there's a couple crosses, but I, I'm just wondering, like, do we follow the Roche's bell right now? Bear, the bell is barely audible. So, I mean, you know, we're headed towards something, but chances are we're not going to find it for a while. All right, so we checked out this. It seems like nothing. Let's go. Uh, I guess I'm. No matter what, it's going to be a uh, annoying distance. We'll go here. Swing around. I wonder if uh, these rocks are anything barely visible. So it's to our northeast. I wonder if the temp these temples of the mace um, are where I have to use the bell. Probably not. Well, that's interesting. Where where would it be pointing to? It's pointing almost like straight north now. Hmm. Gonna have to fight this guy. These guys. These guys. Oh, wow. We got a rod of shadow bolt. I like to throw down some amber. Okay. It's like, oh my god. This dude's not playing around. He just almost killed me. Um, okay, so we're going across this bridge and then south. That's our ruins. Yeah, why didn't I check this out? There's very... There's nothing here? Really? It just looks like something, you know? It really looks like something, but it, I guess it's nothing. Okay. Well, you, you gotta, you really gotta, like, check every box in this game. Um, well, let's go straight north since that's where the bell is, uh, apparently leading us. Um, not sure if there's any... Well, there's some stuff to check out over here. So we'll go back to the road. 
I'm sure this is uh, this has got to be tedious for some people. I'm 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 hoping it's not super tedious, because you really are just like watching me check some boxes. Um, but you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to be methodical. You know, I'm trying to check out everything. Okay, north. We're just going straight north here. Uh, ow. They broke my poise a lot there. They didn't actually do all that much damage. I don't think they did any, maybe. But either way. All right, we're crossing this bridge. There's a cross there. I mean, I could check out Roche's bell now. Bell is barely audible. It's heading, it's leading me north east. But there is some stuff here I haven't, I haven't looked at. There's a lot of fellows, you know? There's a lot of fellows here. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's uh, Alden's Bane. Alden's Bane? Have I gone here? Oh my god, is this a dungeon I haven't done? Okay, well, no, we should do this. Oh, there's undead here. Yeah, that's a hundred undead killed and more devotion for the uh, the blind angels. So um, the last of their rewards are gain the all seeing eye and find a legendary shield. This is encumbrance, which seems like one of the most important things to build up. Uh, or sorry. Yeah, I mean endurance, but same same business automatic light sight life sight and times two damage when blind. Oh, interesting. Um, endurance, perception, increases sight range and accuracy. Intellect reduces material, re 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 materials, good lord, required for magic item repair. I didn't even know you could repair magic items. Oh, I see. Boon tinkering. All magical items are identified more durable and repairable. Um, improves stealth, dodging, and trap detection. Larger pushback and heavy weapon use. Well, let's throw down some, uh, let's buy some, some endure, um, uh, endurance. Purging cross, strike a large cross-shaped area centered on your position with powerful moon-like light attack. These sound nice. Except for the fact that they're always super expensive. That's one of the reasons I like the uh, Moonstone so much, is it does a lot of damage, and it's also very cost effective. Um, it's only 40, which means you can cast it twice. And that to me just seems very worth it. Uh, affect the target in one of a number of curious and rather random ways, funnier than it is effective. Uh, pierce, lancing strike that moves a row of enemies toward you by one space, then pierces through every one damage is based on your current weapon. I honestly think it's, we should just like start buy skills and, and not like use them at this point. Like that's kind of where I'm at with some of this stuff. Like just for the stat bonus. I'm, I'm trying to I'm looking at like maybe semi end game here and I don't really I, I don't think I'm gonna be changing up which spells I'm using. I mean, I probably should I'm not using a lot of my spells uh, I know puppet is really good I like I could switch out luck for um, Retribution I'm sure would be better we could switch out slam or bloody feast Burrowing Shot is actually quite good. I like Burrowing Shot. Oh, we should switch out Berserk. Berserk is something I'll never use. Sacrifice half your health to the lady and receive gift energy in return. I don't know why I would want that. Uh, well, we'll do like a Purging Cross there, see? That was pretty good. Except it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, the Bloodstone really is, like, the best. It's one of the better controlled ones. Like, it kills almost everything in the room. I 
fact that these guys can attack multiple times. All, salva all, all salvation is a specter. Specters are play toys for a price. Um, thinking I should like campfire actually. Camp kit, yes. Cannot camp until you have cleared an area of all enemies. Well, I guess I'm using a potion. Uh, serves me right for trying to not use a potion. Use a potion, dummy. Ow. Like, it didn't do very much damage, but it was just, like, annoying and surprising that there was a critter in there. Uh, fill an empty bottle. That's fine. Wow. We're still encountering these shiny bugs this late. Oh, God. I'm going to take bleeding now, aren't I? Yep. How does that happen? Like, I know literally how it happens, but how did how does it happen? Um... I don't want to use another healing potion, so I'm going to use that root, and then I'm going to convert. And let's go ahead and do that again. Use the root. Use the root. Convert. Not No status changes. I, am I not poisoned and torpid? Oh. This, uh, this dungeon is proving to be way more challenging than I... It has any right to be I'm using i'm blowing through all my potions the large copper key Ugh. just gotta sometimes you just gotta try go backtrack all the way to the beginning of the dungeon I suppose I should be keeping like a bunch of different weapons on me and when I know that an enemy type is like immune to say bashing or uh, stun or bleed oof, then um I could switch weapons are you kidding me bud you know what yeah see I don't I don't understand how is it that he dies like, I don't, I straight up don't understand. I don't understand. Because I, I used it. Uh, we're really blowing through all of our potions and it's really getting to me. I swear to God, if I die here. Like, these guys get to attack, like, four times, and it's, it, it just really sucks. That was, like, four or five times they got to attack me. I'll say it again. I think that undead are just, like, ridiculously powerful in this game. We're starving, huh? Well, fortunately, we have some moldy fruit. I'm assuming we don't want to be torpid. Can we? No, we can't convert. Uh, we're just just barely short of conversion. Um, root. Convert. There we go. Moldy mushroom pie. Yummy. Those shiny bats are always going to be annoying. Uh, let's do a hurl. Here we go. Should really use some of our other spells, but like bloodstone and conversion are just so good. I know I get into a lot of trouble with bloodstone and I'm still not understanding why sometimes. Like watch, watch me do exactly the same thing again. 
Oh, this guy's actually got blood. Wow. We have a bed here? Someone's bed. You risk committing a crime. That's fine. What do I care? Free bed? Heck yeah, bud. Oh. Can't catch me. I fail to agree with you there. I can catch you and I will. You're gonna die, clown. Eat. Throw her. Can't catch me. I. Uh, again. Your logic is kind of flawed because I can catch you. I am catching you multiple times right now, in fact. Let's do a hurl. Hurl seems to be almost like a guaranteed land. Chest key, nice. Ow! Now ah, we're taking that damage no matter what. Ugh. I hate that. I, I, I move forward thinking that I'm like gonna move at the same time as the projectile and instead I just move into the projectile. I don't know how to put that, but basically like I think it's the projectile is gonna move past And I see I just did it exactly again the exact same thing It's fine. We have a bed here. I'm committing bed crimes We are committing bed crimes. You can't stop me I have a funny feeling this uh, dungeon is not gonna be worth it at all Wow, that's really annoying Giant's amulet. That's that could be good. Could be good. Giant's amulet. Uh, offers dodge and endurance. Okay. Could be good. Nice thing about this is we could actually start to think about putting on some proper armor, like plate mail, for instance. And. We have chainmail, gloves are on our, what about, okay, plate mail greaves would put us just over the line. Um, we could try, we could put on a leather helmet and then plate mail greaves. And now we're at 100 move speed, but we're also at like 36% physical protection, which isn't, I mean, it could be better to be honest. The thing is, is that we have to wear that giant's amulet to even achieve this, right? Like, if I take this off, we're at 83 now. Um, whereas, uh, if I wear that other amulet that gives us a bunch of physical protection, then it might be better. Let's, like, let's have a, let's experiment for a moment. So, like, uh, um, was it sigil amulet? No. Herodius amulet, right? Put this on. We're at 60%. Then we take we put on what 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 could we put on? Like um instead of the greaves just like leggings. Yeah, now we're at 52% physical defense. Seems a lot better in IMO. We're still at 100 move speed. There must be, yeah, it's gotta be. This. Can you get out of here, bug? No. Empty bottle. Can we leave yet? No, we can't leave. Is there anything left in this dungeon? No. Well, I mean, okay, there's a little tiny bit left. This is gonna be the end of the episode. I know we didn't really achieve much here, but uh, we did complete a dungeon. So, I mean, that's something. This is something. Large potion of healing, sure. I'll take it. Um, was there a chest that I couldn't open? Probably. Probably nothing. Like, there's only like one good item per dungeon. 
So I don't suspect that there will be anything good. Why are there so many undead? How did they get resurrected? I definitely already feel a little bit uh, stronger with my new armor on. Okay, let's check out that... Um... Oh, did we? We did open this? Yeah, okay. Never mind. I should really destroy those when I find them. Because then they won't show up on the map. All right, let's leave. And I'm going to call the episode there. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do next, but, you know, there's plenty of opportunities. Uh, okay, I was going to say, please don't crash. Um, I don't know why it would, the game would crash. We do have to find, I guess, um, between this and the next episode, what I'm going to do is... Uh, explore a lot of the ocean and try and find a cross uh because that's something we are gonna have to do i'll have to go to back to moon upon thos there's a little bit left over in this area that i haven't explored so that's an option there's clearly something over here so yeah there's a bunch of things i guess i won't do exploration between now and the next episode we'll just uh we'll play it by ear we'll, we'll go we'll head off to heart haven and um teleport to moon upon boss and uh, do some more exploration if you are enjoying this series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy